Hi there everybody, Mr. Fig Geek here. Welcome to this video review of OneNote for the iPad. Now, some of you may have already seen that I previously did a review of the Notability app for the iPad. Uh, and Notability is an app that I absolutely uh, loved to use. It was great and it's given me a lot of, uh, of note-taking pleasure over the last year. However, I've recently changed job and as a result of me changing job, I have now started to use OneNote, which is a Microsoft application. And actually, I'm finding that I am really, really enjoying using OneNote, in particular because I use uh, OneNote now on my computer at my new employment, and I find that with Office 365, it syncs really well. So no matter where I am, whether I'm working from my laptop at work, or I'm working away from the office on my iPad, I have all of my notes with me all of the time. So I wanted to give a very, very quick review as to my first month of using OneNote, my first thoughts, and how much uh, I'm getting out of it and how much I'm enjoying it. And I also am still using it with the Apple Pencil for note taking. So let's just, i tell you what, pop on the Bluetooth so I can connect the pencil and then we can get going. So with regards to OneNote, certainly in comparison to Notability, I find that the layout is slightly easier to navigate around. So you basically have the areas here where you can create uh, your new section. So with your sections here, you can rename them. And these are like mini books, basically, in which you can store your notes. And then in each of those, you then have your separate pages. So you can give your pages any kind of name that you want to call them. And then you can then literally have a series of pages for you know, whatever, you, whatever you need. So you can have as many pages as you want within a particular notebook, um, which is really useful. And as you add more sections here, it will, as you see, automatically color code as you go through. So a really uh, a really useful feature that it automatically color codes things for you so you can keep things very distinct and very separate. So when you're in a notebook and you've got your page, and then actually on the page itself, you have your several options at the top here. So you see you have home, insert, draw, and view. So in your home tab, this is certainly the section that if you want to type your notes and you want to navigate through sort of the standard options that you have here when you're typing anything in a Microsoft application. So first of all, you have your fonts. So you can choose your different font type that you have available here, and it's the standard, uh, the standard, the standard types of font that are typical only on, on any kind of Microsoft application. Then obviously you can choose your font size, and then you've got your bold, your italics, your underlined, and then your subscript there, as well as your ability to choose different themes, okay, and uh, theme colors throughout. Let's just stick with black, as well as your highlight colors, your indents, your bullet points, your tabbing. And then uh, you can also have your different styles for different headings as part of your notes, uh, you know, if you're wanting to make it look a little bit jazzier. Okay, then you have the ability to add bullets here. So if you're wanting to make notes, can't spell my name correctly, and then have a bullet next to it there, then, then you can put a tick in the box to signify that something is done. Uh, you can mark stuff with a star to say this could be a note of particular, it's a particular favourite or particularly important for something. You can then add a quick link to say actually it could be a note of something you need to do or a question mark about something. Uh, and then next to this little tag icon here, you then have another whole bunch of different tags that you can associate with a particular note that you are jotting down. So you can see lots and lots of different preset tags that are available. So if you are the kind of person that makes lots of notes and, and needs to have tags for questioning or importance or reminders and stuff like that, you've got a whole bunch that are preset here. So that's really, really useful and I found that absolutely great. So when you go to the insert tab here is where then you can insert any kind of type of media into your notes as well. So you can insert a table into your notes here and you can um, add as many columns or as rows into the table as you want. Um, 
and and what you'll find is just like any other Microsoft application it's really simple in which to add rows above below columns left or right so if you're certainly familiar with using an Excel sheet you'd be Excel uh, you'd be familiar with using this um, of course then you've got the uh, the delete button as well so if you want to delete any rows in your table you can do so as well and then you can add pictures you can activate the camera on the iPad Heard. The camera's facing down currently, so hence why there's no, no picture there. You can also insert audio, so this could be audio directly from the iPad itself. So if you wanted to activate the microphone, then you can simply that. And there you go, it's now recording me. You can add a file, you can add a PDF printout or something you previously saved. Uh, you can add a link. So if you wanted to add a link, you can either insert the web address here or one that you know, or simply copy and paste it from your browser into it here. And then you can type the note in the display section as to what you wish to call that link. So let's just put the address. Let's just do bbc.co.uk. And then if we don't want it to be displayed as that, we just want it to be displayed as, say, BBC and then away you go and then so that will add a quick link directly into the file there for you which you can access okay let's open that oh we can't I've got airplane mode on okay <laughs> if I didn't have that on we would be straight in there and then you can add randomly uh, there is an option to type equations in here so for those that are particularly mathematically minded or very good with excel you're able to add equations and then you have the quick thing of adding a date in there so to save you actually typing out the date you can pop those in there so as you can see there's lots of very quick shortcuts and very quick uh, tags of, of ways to add notes into the application here which is absolutely great and then probably the one that is my um, favorite part of the note taking app itself will be this section here which is where you can then draw and actually use the Apple Pencil as a form of note taking to use with the application itself. So the Apple Pencil for me is uh, an absolutely a fantastic piece of kit. Uh, I use it every single day uh, when I'm taking notes. So here then you've got your third option at the top here which is your draw and here is where you can select uh, you have an eraser, you have a pen, you have a uh, kind of a slightly thicker marker and then you have a highlighter and then you have all the different colors that you can choose from on here. Um, it's very quickly, you can select text mode. So if ever you want to go back to text mode and instead you want to bring up your keyboard, then simply select text mode. It will bring up the keyboard and away you go to continue typing. But at any point you actually want to then write with your pencil, simply select uh, the pen or the marker, whatever you want to use. Got some stock colors here so you've got your black blue your green your red um, but of course you've got an extended color palette here so i love this little color wheel that brings up so select the kind of color that you want to go say it was a blue and then you've got this brilliant kind of wheel here where you can select through and pick a much more exacting color that you want to go for so we're going to, going to do this instead of looks like black Simple way to select the thickness, so you can either go for a really ultra thin pencil or pen right up to one that's much, much, much thicker. So one thing I noticed with this, and certainly with notability as well, let's just erase, there we go, erase all these bits here, go back to this, is how nice it is to write with this. Excuse my terrible spelling and my terrible handwriting. It feels really nice using OneNote. Um, it feels really quite smooth using the Apple Pencil. Um, I think it's fair, I, th I thought it felt very smooth on Notability, but on here it just, there's a little bit more of a glide that seems to happen with OneNote. And it's a really nice, it does give a really nice feeling as you're writing, as you're writing with this. Um, and that's the same that even if you use the uh, marker, and I actually do use this sometimes, use this marker instead of using the real pen. You know, you can uh, just 
knock the thickness down, choose a colour, and it's just like using a really decent, um, a really decent ink pen. So let's see how these are just scribbles. Let's have a massive delete session on here. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. And then of course you have your highlighter, so you can select out of your uh, the typical kind of preset colours here. And once again, you can choose the thickness of the highlighter as well. And it acts like a proper highlighter, so as you kind of draw over, colours get thicker and bolder on it there. So uh, lovely. It's always a pleasure. I have to say it's, it, it really is a pleasure to use the Apple Pencil on, uh, on these kinds of applications. And then on this um, section here, you have your lasso effect. So if you're wanting to kind of draw uh, a shape or a... Um, uh, clip your notes out so if you can you might want to have your have your notes put in there imagine that's writing and then you can have your lasso effect to go around it and then actually what you're then able to do is to um, resize you can move around um, you can do all kinds of stuff um, when you put your lasso effect so if you wanted to put stuff in a box and then actually move it around uh, the screen and pop it somewhere else you're able to do that so that's really useful as well and then finally the last tab that's on here is your view tab and in your view tab is where you can simply change things like the size of the paper, uh, the page width, your page colour, let's go for a nice green hue, your page style, so actually if you want to go for lined paper that's that's fine lines, that's slightly, um, uh, slightly deeper lines, that's probably the ones I tend to use or if you want to go for grid patterns as well, that everyone here. You can select for password protection, so you can actually password protect your whole book Okay, and then uh, you've also got the ability to invite people to the notebook. So actually, if you wanted to share your notebook with somebody or email um, a page of your notes across, you can easily do this as well by just clicking on the people icon there at the top. So it's a pretty... Um, it's a pretty simple and intuitive application, OneNote, but... I, I find that there's it's it's actually got plenty of features that are in here and it's a really, really, really good alternative to using something like Notability. One of the biggest things for me is this ability to sync it to your Office 365 and then really have it synced to all of your other applications. Um, I just think that's absolutely invaluable that you can, you know, you can have it available all the time and on any other kind of platform. So anyway, that's me over and out for now. I hope this demonstration has been useful to you. And as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.